and so ends another service. Thank you to everyone who contributed, and thank you to all of you who watched. It's hard being apart, but we know that through Christ we are one in him, and we are one worshipping God together through him by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's next week's talk. It's the first Sunday in May, and we're looking at what is God, and we're going to look at the being of God, and how he is one being in three persons. We're going to look at the Trinity. So do come along to that next week. Um, be preparing for it. And we look forward to sharing some of that with you um, over the weeks coming. Again, if you have any questions from what you've heard today or you've made a commitment to Jesus today, do tell us about it. Um, or come along to church chat tomorrow and come and tell us, come and ask us. Um, you are more than welcome. Uh, nobody's going to be off-putting. No one's going to be offended. Um, no one's going to be judgmental. We're here to listen and to talk. Uh, church chat, you are most welcome. All the details, of course, will be on our Facebook page. Please do take care, stay safe, and look after each other. It's a great pleasure to serve God with SBC. Um, you're all amazing, and I do love you all very much. To conclude, we're going to hear God's word read one last time, and then I'll say a blessing. And I'm going to read from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. Prayer for spiritual strength. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. O oh Lord, to you be glory in the church and let your glory be over all the earth. And may we live for your glory, may we eat and drink to your glory, that glory that is our joy and our delight and our reward. And we, O oh Lord, pray that you'd bless us, that you would plant the seed of your word into our hearts and that it would bring forth a harvest. Thank you for Martin, for his word to us. Thank you for the songs we've sang. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you would make us more like Jesus by your Holy Spirit through your word, through your word read, preached and sung. And we pray that we would this week be strengthened to do your will, to live holy lives and to be joyful in the Holy Spirit. And we pray, O oh Lord, you bless us next week as we look at the Trinity. May we come with open minds, open hearts, hungry to know you more. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.